Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J, and this is my cousin, Jennifer A. Hi. So we were just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, is there like a wrong way to approach girls? Well, I'm glad you asked because there definitely is, right? There's like a lot of wrong ways, but we're gonna go over them today so that you can stop doing them right now. And to make sure you never miss out on another woman that you want or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here on top of Jen's breast. So the first way you should not approach a woman is with a very generic opener. Basically, when you say something that can be copied and pasted to any other woman on the planet or any other person on the planet. What this does is it forces her to put up her, okay, this is just like anybody else talking to me, shield. So she'll probably just say something either to be polite or just really indifferent to get away from you. For example, hey, Hey, so you come here often? No. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, what's your name? Tiffany. Do you want to dance? No, thanks. Okay, the second example is an objectifying way to approach a woman. This is when you clearly are becoming erect from the look of her body or breasts. Or butt, if you're a butt guy. When you come off in this way, women immediately become on guard because, you know, 100% of rapes and sexual assault charges start with a man objectifying a woman's body. For example, hey, 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 I think you have a really nice smile. That's a really nice dress. Thanks. Hey, I think you have really pretty eyes. Thanks. The third one is when you come off too thirsty. Basically, this is like you already want her, but you haven't even gotten to know her or anything. Like she could be a serial killer or like, I was gonna say child molester, but that's kind of <sighs> weird. But she could be. <laughs> I don't want to stereotype just men being, Child molesters, all right, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> so this signals to women that you are also just objectifying her body because you haven't even heard from her yet. You don't even know if she is like, you know, a serial killer. So this tells us that, oh my God, he doesn't know me. That means he's trying to kidnap me and put me in his rape dungeon. For example, hi, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Hi. Um. I think you're really pretty. I think like maybe I should take you out sometime because I would really love to get to know you and like take you out. I'm a really nice guy. Oh, um, yeah, no. Oh, you look like a girl who likes a guy with a lot of money and I have a lot of money. Yeah. So the fourth one is when you come off way too aggressive and we just think that this is stranger danger. We need to get out of here before we end up on the latest murder mystery documentary. For example, Hey, come here, I want to talk to you. Hey, what's up? Come here. You in the yellow. Come here. Yeah, you. You. Hey, Asian. Asian oh. girl. Okay, the next one is when you are supplicating. This is when you try to come off playing the super duper nice guy act because you're actually super duper scared of her. But really what you're doing is you're putting her in a place of power over you, which automatically makes her think like, oh, what a sweet guy, I should be nice, not hurt his feelings. For example. Hi, uh, sorry, uh, I, I don't want to bother you or anything, but like, I just wanted to say, I think you're really pretty. Hmm. Hi, uh, do, you, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, I just, I think you're really pretty. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you wanna go out with me? No. Oh. So those are the five ways you should never approach a woman because either she'll like, you'll trigger her politeness mechanism or you'll trigger her fight or flight mechanism. So make sure you cut these out of your repertoire now and to make sure you don't fall for any of the other mistakes that guys are making, don't forget to put in your email for the 10 mistakes 
other guys are making out there. Thanks for watching as always. Thank you for having Jen on and we'll see you guys next time.